Hey guys, it's Nicola. So I got something special I want to shout out today. One of my homeboys made a coloring book called Extraterrestrial. The book is absolutely fucking amazing. My kids love it. I love it. And there's some bonus stuff in the back. I don't want y'all to see. Y'all got a copy to see that. The link will be in the description. Like I said, you can follow these guys on Instagram at at Quinn underscore M-O-B. Y'all know I got to read because I can't keep it all in my head. And at Dus, D-U-S, 10, M-Z-K. Follow them. Cop this coloring book. This is awesome, guys. Hey, Earth Signs. <laughs> Let's see what messages we have for my Earth Signs. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for April the 16th, 2019. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. April the 16th, 2019. What messages? What guidance do we have? Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's for April 16th. All right. I was smiling like that because, y'all, I did the air sign read the video for the wrong day. Then I started shuffling for y'all, and I kept saying the air signs. <laughs> not doing the air signs so here whew, there's some anxiety some of you guys may um hmm, you may be feeling stuck right now or you may be worried about moving forward there's a worry here unnecessary pause and action there's a pause and action you're moving forward queen of pentacles is, is in the surrounding energy ten cups here moon card here whoo so you're moving forward um but you're at a pause because you need to make some decisions here. Uh, so some of you guys, this has to do with a third party here. Some of you guys could be dealing with an earth sign. Cancer. Taurus, Cancer here. Seven of Cups may be confused. Maybe um, procrastinating. Maybe at a delay. Nine of Swords out of anxiety here. Moon card is under that energy. Piscean energy here. Why is the Seven of Cups here? What y'all got going on? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Queen of Swords, you need to make a decision. You need to decide what foundation is will bring the abundance that you desire. Some of you guys, Seven of Cups here, on the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups here in the middle of my read. You got options. Make a decision. Some of y'all need to make a damn decision. You got options here. You're stuck here. Seven of Pentacles here. You, you delayed about making a decision because you're not being discerning here. Someone may be cutting away a third party here, and that could have you at a stagnation because emotionally you're feeling hurt about someone moving forward. Cancerian energy here. You could have been holding on to someone. Why is this chariot here? Someone could have found the motivation to move forward. Made a decision. Because listen. <laughs> the chariot is a seven. So this is what the middle of my layout looks like. Seven, seven, seven. A delay in making a choice to move forward. Someone's delay in making a choice to move forward. And you can see up there, my, I don't know if you know, but the chariot is a seven. This is about choices. Some of you guys need to find the motivation to make a damn decision. Why is this chariot here? Some of you guys don't realize you have all the tools necessary to make this decision, to make this choice. Magician here, still under the, I just seen it, but I was shuffling. I was like, okay, you got all the tools. Some of you guys need to take a leap of faith toward your happiness, toward wealth. You need to allow your concerns to fade away with whatever you've created that you deem as wealth because it's not wealth. It's not true abundance. It's something that you created to be stable, which means you're going to have to continue to put in that work to keep it stable, which means it's not stable at all. It's just stable because you keep forcing it to be. Some of you guys need to make a decision to really take a leap of faith toward your happiness. Understand that you have all the tools necessary to collaborate or work with the universe, to work with the universe. Queen of Pentacles here. Someone in your surrounding energy could be dealing with a Taurus here. Could be, I'm sorry, my apologies. Could be dealing with a Taurus Capricorn Virgo here. Um, this is in your surrounding energy. Someone could be moving forward here, resisting you. Seven of Wands. Someone could be nurturing of self. So you Regardless of the sign, and I said Taurus, but I don't see Taurus here, but regardless of the sign, someone is deciding to nurture themselves and move forward. Six of Wands here. Um, someone's gaining their emotional fulfillment. This, this is a cycle that's closing. Someone's moving away. World card here. And I think that's what's causing the confusion because someone that once brought you emotional fulfillment, this could have been a third party. You had two people pouring into your cup. This is in your subconscious or you've been pouring into a third party and someone may be deciding to nurture themselves, be nurturing of themselves, stand up for themselves and move away from the situation. 
Why is it three of cups? I got 10 cups here. So whatever about your emotional fulfillment now is bringing you confusion. Why is the three of cups here? Why is the three of cups here? Seven of <laughs> Seven of Pentacles here. Page of Swords. Cherry. So someone is speaking their truth and moving forward. Like I'm telling you, someone understands their worth, putting some things in motion here. Shit, me. Somebody is really speaking their truth. They understand their own worth. So this delay, someone knows that this has been a delay. Something. Someone knows that this third party is not going to bring any fruition toward them. Um, you could be seeing the truth. There could be a delay in a, in a return, a delay in... There's a delay in, in a reconciliation. Someone doesn't want to reconcile, so they're resisting you and nurturing themselves because you didn't make a decision. So now you're confused and you need to make a decision on what you're going to do next. The anxiety here of what's hidden is causing you to have this confusion. Why is the Seven of Cups? If this isn't you guys, this is someone in here surrounding energy. I know a lot of times they're like, oh, it's not me, it's them. It's still the same storyline, it's just reversed. You're the person that's watching it, so you need to get some messages off of it. Um, adjustments here, someone's making adjustments to this third party, making adjustments, having more sevens someone's overcoming the confusion overcoming the procrastination seven of cups here still for me to get the seven of cups as the outcome and the seven of cups as the underlying energy here it's a whole lot of motherfucking confusion a whole lot of options a whole lot of choices you need to make adjustments and overcome this sort of waiting for your ships to come in the ships are in you need to just make a choice on which ship you going to board that's what it is so let's see what messages we have What guidance do we have? Sun, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Messages, guidance for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have? For Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Patterns. Mm -hmm. Some of you need to get out of your patterns. This is what's going on. You've been stuck in a pattern of something happening. Wisdom. You know that you need to move forward. Someone's following their divine wisdom and focused on moving away from three, a third party. Patterns is a three. Someone's getting out of a karmic cycle, going within their divine wisdom and focused on making the most of their time here. So someone's moving forward. They realize that they wasted too much time with the situation. You're focused on maybe the past, but you're needing to look forward as well. Because as you see, she's looking back. You need to look forward. That's all I got, y'all. Peace.